What's up guys, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is a beautiful online platform to build your business, perfect for Airbnb owners. Now let's get on with the video. Welcome to Tulum. Welcome to Tulum. Let's check out this beautiful Airbnb. Located in Tulum, Mexico along the Caribbean coast is where we are at today in the beautiful town and we are at this very gorgeous Airbnb at and I'll be giving you a tour of that today. If you decide you like this Airbnb and you're ever making a trip to Tulum, then the link for it is down below as well to sign up on Airbnb to save some money on your first trip anywhere in the world. Anyway, once you arrive to Tulum for whatever occasion you are, this is a very gorgeous place. It has its own vibe and you'll drive and you'll meet your Airbnb. Now whenever you're driving here, the first thing you'll encounter is a gate because it is located in a gated community kind of just outside the main strip town center. And that is a very nice touch. I think you're kind of just separated from everything and it just makes you feel even more safe but you'll drive right in and then you'll meet your Airbnb now as you can tell this Airbnb looks very luxurious now for the price this place is insane go check out the link and check out the price for this place and for what you get for that price you cannot get this price anywhere in the United States for a home like this I will tell you that this is a great opportunity anyway the outside is very modern and luxurious looking there's plants and palm trees there's even a couple cactus in front right here and you just tell it is really cool Airbnb so you walk up to your front door which is absolutely massive of course there's a security system for you to get in and you'll walk right into your grand Airbnb it is very open and bright there's windows everywhere and all the colors and textures textures from the floor to the walls it's all really neat this is a very interesting floor plan as well which I think adds to the home it makes it very fun to be a part of an inn and to experience I would say anyway the first thing you'll encounter on the right is one of your first guest bedrooms now there's not much happening in the bedrooms it is just a bed with a window and a couple racks and shelves for clothing but other than that it is a nice bedroom and each bedroom has its own AC unit so crispy cold in here and very hot to loom. So when you walk out on the left side, you have a shelf for some stuff if you want to lay it down. And then you have your main floor bathroom. Now this bathroom is the smallest one here. So it's just a sink on this side and then the toilet on the other side. And you'll exit out of that. And now you get to your main area in this home, which is so beautiful. You have the stairs on the left with the bamboo shoots right next to it. And I just love having these plants in the home especially these bamboo plants that are huge. You're like 12 or 15 feet tall in this home and they kind of separate the stairs from everything else and it looks so gorgeous. And then on the right side right here, you have your living room. Of course, there's a couch, there's a couple seats, a really cool coffee table right here. And then a perk I think for Tulum is that you have a really nice TV right here that has Netflix and whatever you'd want to watch on there. And then right behind the couch, this is, might be one of my favorite parts of the home, is this huge wall that goes all the way to the second floor and it's this red stone that they shaped and formed into this wall. It adds great color to this home and a really cool texture to all this living room. It brings in the outdoor inside this home so it feels really naturey yet modern. But the design and the decor pieces for all of this is really nice and then we'll move along and you get your dining room table it is really large you can fit at least six people and it blends in with all the other decor it's wood and it's kind of just oddly shaped so i like the oddly shaped stuff mixed in with the modern looking home and then we continue along you reach your kitchen area this airbnb offers a full kitchen you have your all this countertop space a huge sink right here and of course they provide a huge jug of purified water because you can't can't drink the tap water in Mexico. And they have all the amenities you would need. They have an espresso machine for your morning coffee, all your cooking utensils and dishes and everything in all the drawers. Of course, the whole shebang, I would say. And it just looks really gorgeous with all the windows right here. And then you reach your fridge. It is a fridge freezer combo. Very nice to have an actual full size fridge in an Airbnb compared to like a little mini fridge. And then behind this door is your washer dryer combo, which is a really nice touch for an Airbnb because sometimes you got to do some laundry. So that is the main level floor. Now we'll go back onto the stairs 
stairs up to the second level. This is one of my favorite parts of the home as well. A quick break, if you are an Airbnb owner or you have a rental or if you plan on doing one or the other, Squarespace is a wonderful tool for you. You can build your website using Squarespace and some of the cool features are you can have a gallery to display all the photos or videos you have of your home or all the homes you have in one spot and it's really easy to view. You can also set up simultaneous posting that allows you to post on all the platforms all at once and you can plan it out so it's really time efficient and effective. Lastly, you can track all of your analytics from your visitors and where they're coming from, traffic source, all of that. This is also really handy with syncing up with your booking with Airbnb onto your website so it's all blacked out dates. Either you book on Airbnb or your website and if you book on your website, it also lets people save that Airbnb fee. So head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and whenever you're ready to give your home a really catchy name and start advertising it, go to squarespace.com forward slash Levi Kelly for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. These stone steps that lead all the way up to the second floor, of course, with the bamboo and the greenery, it looks really gorgeous. Now there's no handrail here, which is kind of a neat thing. I don't know if that's a legality thing here in Mexico. I know it would be in the United States, so just keep that in mind. I kind of like it though, it looks really cool. And you just walk up the stone steps and you reach your really interesting upstairs, I would say. The roof up here is all glass, so you don't even have to turn on any lights in here unless it's night. It just floods in a lot of light up here. And there's this also this huge like walkway platform bridge, I would say, that leads to your master bedroom, but we'll get to that in a second. The first door on the right is your upstairs bathroom, which is a really nice bathroom. It also has the windows up on the roof, so it leaks in this really hard light mixed with the shadow and it just leaves these light beams in this bathroom and it looks gorgeous and of course you got your vanity it is a stone vanity that just fits in with the vibe of this home and then your toilet and then of course your huge concrete shower with the waterfall faucet up above and this is just a really beautiful bathroom it's very minimal but they did the minimal correctly i would say and we exit out of that and you reach your second guest bedroom up here very similar to the one downstairs is just a bed with some windows and some shelves and hangers for your clothes there's also an ac unit in here as well for you and then now we'll exit that and you reach your master bedroom. It's kind of like a grand entrance, I would say, because it's the bridge that's over the living room into your master bedroom. You open the beautiful door and you have your sleeping quarters. You have your bed right here that faces your backyard with these huge sliding doors. There's nice stands on each side with these hanging lights. And then you have your bathroom over here on the other side with a stone bathtub. I would say this is also one of my favorite parts of this home. The stone bathtub is huge and beautiful and right under the window. And then you have your dual vanity with the stone top again. And then the last thing in this bedroom is this whole wall for your clothes or luggage or whatever. You can hang stuff, you can store your stuff here. And this is your master bedroom. It is super gorgeous, especially with this whole wall of window that leads out to your patio that overlooks your backyard. This is a great place to have some coffee or to wake up and just walk outside and enjoy all the scenery that your backyard has. There's also a screen on the sliding door. Of course, if you just want to let the air flow in, but if not, there's also an AC unit in here as well for you. Now, I think the best part of this home is your backyard area. So let's just take a step down and we'll walk out these sliding doors again on the bottom floor and you reach your backyard. It is very beautiful. A secluded backyard, so there's walls on all the sides and with all the greenery and plants that surround it, it just blocks in anybody else from being able to see you. And it just feels like your own little tropical paradise, I would say. There's seats right here if you wanna come down here and drink your coffee or have breakfast down here. And then you have your amazing swimming pool. I would say it's a little bit bigger than a plunge pool. I would consider it a swimming pool. And there is even a waterfall on this side of the swimming pool and this is a gorgeous touch to this home and of course there's lawn chairs on this side and just all the greenery around it I can't get over all the greenery and tropicalness I would say of this backyard now, this backyard is my favorite part of the home so that is your Airbnb if you come to Tulum this is be one I would suggest a 
uh, check it out. It's super cheap for what you get and where it is located. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and share it with your group of friends that you'd ever want to come to Tulum with and stay in this Airbnb because you can fit a lot of people in here. And just let me know what your favorite part was. I mentioned all mine. I had a lot of favorite parts. What was yours? Anyway, if you have an Airbnb or home or rental and you want me to come check it out, uh, shoot me an email, message me on Instagram, whatever, send me some photos and maybe we can work something out. Also, if you haven't heard yet, I partnered with The Design Network. It is a streaming platform and there's a new TV show that has all of my videos on it. It's called Tiny B&B. So if you like all of my videos that I've done, if you like Airbnb tours, uh, they are also on the Design Network channel. So if you'd rather watch that, watch it on TV, or if you like streaming services, I would suggest going to go check that out. The first episode aired July 19th, so go check it out. You can do it on the Roku channel, Samsung TV Plus, or Vizio. So go check that out, and it's a super cool opportunity, and I'm glad I could do something like that. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next week.